so like I don't why I always say and I've talked about this a million times, I'm always gonna keep saying this. It's never about the numbers sometimes. You gotta be able to be confident in the content and make sure that you are one step ahead of everybody else. See, it could be somebody out here with a million views and this, that, and the third. It don't matter. As long as your takes hit harder, it all eventually fall out in your favor. And I told y'all with me and Marcus, we was debating on this maybe about a month to change and some change ago. Would you wait? on the Drake feature. We was debating if it was the con, if Kanye reached out to you, should you hurry up and gun on, on for the Kanye or should you wait for the Drake? And I told y'all, you should wait for the Drake. Drake is absolutely the bigger star right now. And I, matter of fact, I can't say that, but he just more realistically, it's almost just like if I was, if I grew up in the, if I grew up in 2010, I just want to play with LeBron, maybe. Or I just want to pay, or I may want to play with Steph. It's just certain things. It's just like, bro, I just want to get, I got it on my bucket list. If I just rather do that. Like, I can only imagine like a kid, like somebody that's kind of younger, especially if you black, I don't necessarily know if the Kanye thing would have been in like a geek for me. And if for most people, when you first heard this Drake line, you probably was like, oh, it's cool. It ain't nothing. Cause I, a homegirl, my, she DM me before she even listened to the song. She like, oh, you need to hurry up and make a video. I'm like, when I first heard it, and that's why I don't like, I one thing I won't do is just jump up and make a video as soon as the song come out in here. Because I just know sometimes you gotta be at the right time in the right moment. And for one of these songs, it's an R&B situation pretty much for me. It's not a rapping rap. You're not listening to boss or even listening to it right after the gym and my energy's still high. It, it's not for me to sit here and comment on. I'm like, cool, I listened to it. I really wasn't impressed. It was all right. But then the weekend kept going. And the big, let me just tell you, Big Back Warriors, I know y'all mad, I'm gonna get right to y'all because that, for, let me just explain something to you. If you got a Big Back and you got a bunch of kids, just get out of Dre and Drake business. It's not, it was, none of that was gonna ever fit for you anyway. So it don't even make a difference. Stop getting so hush, hush and impressed. Most of y'all don't even got no kid. It's gonna never even run up into a couple hundred million. So you never got to worry about nobody 39 trying to talk to your son. Let's just be serious. Like we got to relax a little bit. So let's slow this down a little bit more and let's get back into this song. My man Drake just literally putting that pin down. And he put it crazy because I'm like, dog, that way that nigga said, I don't need your face and your body. I don't know what is the what is in the water at Clayco. And when he said that line, and then he get mysterious walking out of a restaurant with Lotto sister and where they from? Clayco. I said, oh, this he put them bars and he pinned his real life every time. This you can't never question this man pen game. When he literally take his real life, like, hey, let me sit here and put this on paper, and then y'all will see this. He make them words hit a hundred times. So however you felt about that verse beforehand, now he can make that verse come to real life. You gotta respect it. His bars is different, dog. That's one of them jokes where you were on the battle rapping. They be like, oh, three, oh, he just went crazy. He just he just explodes you. So he exposed his hand every time as the greatest rapper to actually have some substance behind his music. We'd have had this conversation a million times. The greatest rapper to ever rap about absolutely nothing is Lil Wayne. And the greatest rapper to absolutely rap about real life things that 90% of the people can relate to in the world is Drake. I'm sorry. I hate to tell you that. So he made that verse a hundred times harder. And I seen everybody, they, of course, they announced that he signed the EP deal with Drake. One is the EP deal. Like you're talking about five songs. So for, for people who don't know, we're talking about that song that I just played is from, uh, what is it? Full Bats. He signed an EP deal with OVO. And then people's like, oh, he just signed up to the slave shop with Drake. Just gonna steal a bunch of his dog. His swag is Drake swag already. So I don't know what y'all thought. Like when you everybody heard that song, you heard Drake on it. That this is not like you making it like he just came up with a whole new swag or a whole new style. No, he stole Drake's house. So I don't think it's too much Drake can actually take from him. He probably just gonna help him out. Or that alley you it's just different. You sometimes you either ready to play with LeBron or you're not. And that's the closest thing when people compare, oh, if you get on this, I seen it was trending on social media. Oh, if you get on a song with Drake, it's gonna end your career. Well, guess what? The same you can say the same exact thing about playing with LeBron. Some yeah, you it will end you if you're not ready for the big leagues. And that's why a lot of y'all need to make sure that you are ready for what you pray for. I speak about that all the time. You can keep praying keep praying and then God answer your prayers and you ain't ready for it then you just wasted a good prayer you wasted a good opportunity and most people just may not be ready for the moment you may not be ready for all the bread to come your way or the bookings and you might not just have all that in line so like I said for this kid I mean it's cool like it's a, it's a big look you got Drake on the song the song kind of was already dwindling down a little bit and so it happened. And then real quick, another thing I told y'all about Honcho I seen Honcho had a show in Houston and he did a jump and Drake popped out at his jump so again, like I said, I, it'd be some things that, like I said, it's not always necessarily about, oh, a million people gonna hear me. I'd rather uh, only a hundred people hear you every time you talk, but them hundred people can sit here and say, he better than everybody else. And he literally actually care about the culture. And we gonna get into that with the, and this is my thing with, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this weekend, y'all almost made me wave my flag and I'm just gonna go marry me a white trumpet. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm that disappointed with the blogs, the people who support the blogs in the comments and all that. Though, all year long, I keep saying it. I don't talk about LSU and I'm not trying to bunch all my topics in, but I'm just telling y'all where I'm at. I'm almost about to bang the Caitlyn Clark on y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to go, me a, I'm about to go order me an Iowa jersey and a goddamn Caitlyn Clark, all her a, a, a fan, fan whatever fan 
fan of whatever. I can't stumble over my words. All her fan gear. Because y'all are blowing me so bad, though. And I really, I dog, I have a huge disdain for black people today. And I'm going to take my time and I'm going to sit here and dress y'all by topic by topic. But y'all really showed y'all whole black behind with that LSU South Carolina. And the crazy thing is, though, USC, I mean, uh, what is it? U, uh, USC won. A star player, black player. Notre Dame won. Star player, black, and the coach is black, and the coach got a fatty. And y'all was still just only thing y'all was talking about. That's why I don't. Let me tell you something. I swear to God, black women, I pray for y'all. I'm, I'm gonna make sure in my daily prayer I say a lot of prayers for y'all because a lot of y'all going down a wicked, 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 wicked waves, and y'all gonna be dying lonely. And I swear to God about it. Cause you just, it's nothing. I can't even explain how nasty y'all are. Bro, the girl who got into it with Fly J hit her first three of the whole season to even get them in that game. And man, like I said, I'm not, I'm about to bunch all my stuff in. I just had to get that out real quick. We got a good show coming ahead of you, but I'm trying to tell you, I'm about to give me a Make America Great Again hat and I'm gonna give me a Caitlin Clark jersey because that's how I'm feeling right now. Cause I can't keep, I cannot, I be feel like I'm the only person who actually care about black people, dog. I watch every black sports person who swear to God, I hate, and I don't even like tweeting people, but I seen up, uh, what is it, Emmanuel Altra, and I forget, most of y'all black dudes who work as Fox Sports, you, you, niggas have already called him out a million times. They feel like you're Uncle Tom. And I just see him, I said, no, your platform too big. The first time you talk about Angel Reese all season, was for you to sit here and post a video of her walking back to the jump on her ankle? What are we talking about, dog? Like that's my that's my point where I don't I it's hard for me to mess with you blacks. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really like I'm I'm if I if Candace Owen wasn't already married, I'd be in her DM right now shooting my shot and with my and I'll be shooting my shot with no shirt on in the MAGA hat. Cause that's how y'all blowing me, dog. I swear to God, like come on, dog. Y'all are the nastiest group of people in the goddamn world. I don't even know. Let's get the Dre. Let's, let's let's come on. Let's get in the Dre. For one, any man who see, I'm, I'm glad men, and I understand why men kind of just be y'all only commenting on it because y'all want women to have the same energy, I guess, for Dre like y'all do for Diddy. And it's just like I said, bro, I'm not mad at Jalen Green. If I was his age and Jerry would allow me to shoot her club, I do it. I already said this before. And it's like, I feel like this topic is like stale, but you see so many women and then even like, oh, Drake is nasty. Get, listen to me. If I was Drake, and sometimes when I see women post this, I'm like, do y'all got two eyes? You look at Lotto's sister and look at the women in the comment section. Do you think that if I was Drake, I would waste my time with any woman in the shade room comment section or would I tear uh, a lot of little sister cheeks off y'all crazy dog I, like come on dog i swear and i was the person who was like 15 eight, i don't i don't even care no more like i'm just i'm keeping a buck every time i go look in the comment section i like i get it drake he just comes to i can't hit nobody in my 30s it's for what y'all already your 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 brain is too tarnished and that's why y'all be ready to sit here and go up and or every time and it's just be like that's why baddies versus wild is a thing it's because women in their 30s it ain't even probably girls in their 20s they don't even want to be caught dead in some of these comment sections because they don't want to sit here and tear their brand down before they even get a chance to get their feet with and that's what y'all basically that's what you sit here compare so you get mad at drake i'm not mad at him i cannot sit here and look at a lot of sister and be like i'm mad at that nigga. i'm like ah, pass off i can't be mad like even like and then i can't be mad when he put it in the verse and it was just like damn that was a clever this nigga is so clever dog i don't know what to tell you like i'm sorry i don't i can't know what to tell y'all read your own comments when y'all be in the comment section do y'all ever look at other women and be like bro y'all we just disgusting dog like when are we gonna tighten it up because then you're gonna have somebody podcast. like Drake, who what I think Drake like 37. No, he, he if he wanted to date somebody in his age group, he could, but who do y'all else who really out there for him? All right, Lala already been. If him and Carmelo cool, I can't fuck with Lala, I can't talk to Gabrielle Union. Let's just go down a longer list of women in their 30s and 40s that he could realistically date in his his pocket range or close to his pocket range. They already got kids and they already already been taken for by dudes he might be cool with. So what else is y'all really left for him, to be honest? But again, if I'm if I'm sitting here, have to sit here and say I'm going to sit here and deal with somebody, and let's just bring it back in age. Let's take the people out. Can I? And I, you know, sometimes I never understood when they was just like, oh, older men like to talk to younger women because their brains haven't already been tarnished. They haven't already got like a, a disdain for men, or they don't already have, excuse me, whatever walls built up towards them, or they don't have no type of already thought pattern to get it. And I almost and I I get it when I just look and I read the comments and people calling Dre a, a um calling her a predator and all this and the third bro this man made her time up this man is playing he playing the nba he would have think he on his third season his rookie contract not even up yet i don't it, on what planet do you think she could be predatorial to him like i sometimes i think y'all not being serious like you can't even you you can't say that with a straight face and be dead serious like a, a professional athlete at 22 years old yeah you can say and say oh his mental not dead is that and the third so but guess what his mental is at 22 years old you know what i know how to do put on a rubber 
Guess what? At 22 years old, he knew what not to do. He just, I don't care. It ain't no, no it's like you, I'm not about to sit here and act like it don't take two to tango. Like we got to be serious and sometimes. It's just like people in general and just think about what you get mad at. And I just see so many women. I would never, you, you I'm t- listen to what I'm telling you. All the women who say you would never, I would never let my son, I promise you, <laughs> when your son becomes of age, no 39 year old woman even gonna care about him. And, and if you and if your son is that blessed to that ability and he's scoring and he about to get an NBA max contract, then let that man cook, dog. As long as he put you in your crib and he bought you your dream car, let that boy cook. Like you just hear certain stuff and you just like, come on, dog. Like, what are we talking about? Like it just be certain things that I'll be just reaching and it just it's always the big back warriors with the multiple kids. Like, bro, tighten that back up. And then niggas, and, and then you may be able to get you a ball player. Y'all, y'all acting like y'all get so mad, like y'all had a chance with Jalen Green or you had Yo, a chance with Drake. Mikey. You ain't have a chance with neither one of them, dog. What are we really talking about at this point? You had no chance with neither one of them, so why are you so upset? And that's my own—that's my only beef. Like I was just like, dog, y'all are dragging it. And I'm only my only beef with Dre will be is you try to like debunk the whole situation, like you try to throw the bikini pants. Like, bro, you should when they already spotted you with the Rockets game. I mean, of course, maybe if you had your your plans or how you wanted to do your photo shoot or whatever the case may be, but you shouldn't have did the corny stuff with the bathing suit. John, like, what was the point of that? Especially if you knew you was going to double back with the like the pregnancy photo shoot. Like, it was no purpose of that. Like, that was just like weak. Like, you kind of just allowing social media to get the best of you. And I, and I get. Let's be clear. I understand them comments. Be they they get crazy. And don't get me wrong, ladies, I promise you, I'm just the same way I'm getting on y'all. I got, as soon as I'm done, you $12 dudes, we're going to have a conversation. Because I was a lot of dudes who was mad. You were a simp. Man, you, she should have been happy. No, we talking about $12 seats, bro. I would never in my, and this is what I'm saying. I understand it. I only can speak from my life experiences. Let me just, for people who may be new here, I know it get new, like new people every week and every episode. Let me explain something to y'all. My my entire adult life, I, bro, I, I don't got, it ain't no too many W2 phones with my name on them. So I just live differently. So I, my life experiences will not allow me to spend $12 to sit up in a nosebleed seat to see a team that is, I think I've seen the records now, is 10 and 51 or 52. Oh, well, they won 10 games. I'm not playing $12 to sit in no nosebleed. Dog. I, no, I'm sorry. And the difference between me, I'm not told well, you. I mean, so it was a girl that was going viral. Um, she, she made a video she was going viral basically sitting at a i guess it was at a detroit pistons game so i seen like i'm watching a video i'm kind of like dang she all the way up in the nosebleeds so i'm like damn i wonder what stadium she at so now i seen it y'all say Louisville caesar's arena i was like oh this detroit so let me just google the prices for detroit pistons tickets for the seats where she was at though they was 12 bucks so she was just like oh and then maybe she was even and like, i don't care if she was trolling or not i'm just going off the videos of how she because people was like oh you think this video is real bro i don't care one i ain't got enough time to sit here and go look at it. i don't care i seen the page the video going viral i'm only taking at first a face value of what she's posted on that video i'm not going to look and see if this video was real or not i don't care if it's real or not i'm just going off the scenario that she painted this is how i'm taking it and dudes was upset like she just so materialistic bro it's not materialistic we grown I'm not sitting in nobody's nose. I'm talking about her jumps was two to ceiling. Like her hand, she reached, she was touching the top of the arena, dog. I'm not sitting up there for no Detroit Pistons game. But we being serious? And they was playing the Cavaliers. So if the seats all the way up there was $12, how much you think it took? We ain't got to get, we ain't got, you ain't got to put your feet on the floor. But how, just explain to me how much more do you think it was if you would have literally went 40 rows down? $40, $30? If you ain't got $60 to spend Shit, on a that's, date. That's still a lot though. Sixty dollars, but you gotta think about plus the surcharge and all that. What's the surcharge? It should be like another twelve, fifteen dollars. So okay, Marcus, we talking about seventy five dollars. Yeah. If you ain't got seventy five dollars to go on a date, guess what you should do? You should do like I do. Go beat your meat, nigga. Stop, like so dog. They went on, oh, because they went on a date. Yeah, I don't care what it was. And I'm not personally me personally. I still guess what I would rather do. I would rather sit in the house and watch the game on TV than me sit here and sit in somebody's nosebleed to see the Detroit Pistons, dog. What are we talking about, dog? Like y'all gotta stop being like we gotta stop, dog. With that whole little poverty mindset. Oh, if it's too, if it costs too much, stay in the house, dog. It's nothing wrong, and that's what that's the biggest problem with people. Y'all act like you can't stay in the house, dog. It's nothing wrong with staying in the house. Get your financials together. If you feel like it's too much, then you don't gotta go, dog. I swear to God, you could have took that twelve dollars or that twenty four dollars, and you could have placed a bet on that game for twenty four dollars, and you could have doubled your money then. Like, what are we talking but, about, but, dog? But hold up, but why are you mad? If he finessed it, he got it. You know what I'm saying? He took because she it. left him. That was the purpose of oh, the whole she video. She left. Oh, she left him. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was the whole purpose of oh, the video. Yeah, you know, she didn't she didn't stay for the whole jump. So oh. her purpose of the video was like, oh, look at the CC got me. I left him. Like I went, I moved on the other side of the stadium. 
Like, bro, this, so I'm up, you left. You didn't go home. You just went to go. She stay, I mean, she stayed there. I mean, obviously, I mean, they, she already in the arena. What's the purpose of leaving? I mean, you can try your hand. I mean, nigga, I know endless dudes who used to go. As long as I can get in the arena, I'm going to finesse my way down. It's, no, this yeah. stadium was empty, though. It's the Pistons versus the Calais. Like, what we, what's we really talking about? Like, what? I'm not. You, dog, and this is what I, my only thing to people is if you're not a basketball fan, then mind your business. Stay out of this conversation. This is for basketball fans. And we talking about adults with a goddamn job. I'm not talking to somebody. If you got to scramble up 12 bucks to go on a date, don't go on a date, dog. I swear to God, go on baddiehub.com or go on Pornhub, dog. Spank your monkey, dog. There's nothing wrong with getting to know your left or right hand, dog. Get it together. That's my point. Everybody, you be, no, I'm not, listen to what I'm telling you. And I be, it's cool. When it, when we talk about the $30 lunches, I won't even have those conversations because that's just pointless and just retarded. I'm not having those conversations. But we sitting here saying a basketball game, dog. If you actually like basketball as a, a fan of just basketball in general, I'm not sitting in nobody's nosebleed, dog. I will stay home and watch the game. And I will literally take my $12 and I will bet on the game before I sit here and waste my time to go into arena and be able to touch the ceiling, dog. What are we talking about? I did it. So I can't even continue. Well, nigga, you, you don't really like basketball then. I'm not no, I mean, it. I did it on Friday for the Wizards. And that was probably the most that they had in there. Shit, I wasn't about to see and pay that much for that. I was came there for the concert. But that shit, that, that, but that's what I'm saying. Some people don't really care about, I mean, I get what you say if you're trying to impress them. But I'm mean, not even trying to impress nobody, Marcus. I'm not going to no game if I got sitting in no I will stay home and bet on the game. I'd rather just watch it in the comforts of, of my home, dog. I mean, me and Ace was talking about that when the Ravens, he was like, dog, if they make it to the junk, you want to sit here and go to the junk? He's like, dog, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't really want to go. If I'd rather just go to a dumb regular season game, a playoff game. I want to actually be in the comfort and be able to yell and cry or get happy or get mad and watch the game at home than sit here and be around a bunch of people. Because that experience ain't the same. But if you just like sitting here, dog, every time I say, if I wanted to see Dirk, I was seeing Dirk Nowinski play the Wizards, I seen LeBron play the Wizards, nigga, I'm going to be in arm's reach to be like, hey, can you see me? Like, nah, dog, I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. I, I'd rather stay in the house. I'm not doing it. I, I take my money and I sit here and go gamble my money before I sit here and waste my money on some sitting in the nosebleeds. Like, dog, that's ridiculous. Like, his hand, literally, her hand, literally, she was reaching up when she's making the video. Her hand was on the ceiling. I'm not doing it, dog. And I seen, you know, oh, you a simp. No, I'm not a simp. I'm just not broke. I'm sorry. And if I'm broke, I guess what I'm going to do? I'm okay with sitting in the house and just scrolling down what I'm about to spank this moment. Man, come on, dog. Like, y'all got to stop, dog. Like, stop. Don't it's okay you, to sit here and get to know yourself. It's okay for you to sit here and say, I can't date right now because I can't afford it. And most people, because you're trying to do both, you say, you don't have enough discipline to sit here and say, I ain't got it right now. I'm going to bunker down until I get my bread together. Because you don't like the Detroit business that much. Like, let's be serious, dog. They literally won 10 games all season. I seen that like, damn, twelve dollars, dog, is insane. But yeah, like I said, I, I'm cool on y'all. I'm cool on the blacks, like, dog.